destitute size me destitute size me destitute size me My name is Connell and I'm from, uh, well I work for the West Belfast Festival, it's Fell in Football and we have decided to get involved in Refugee Week and to take part in the Destitute Size Me programme. Well my name is Jonathan Abernethy Barkley and uh, I'm the Assistant Minister at Fitzroy Presbyterium uh, on Botanic Avenue and we became involved because we have a number of asylum seekers uh, within our congregation uh, which is quite an affluent congregation uh, so we thought it would be good for one of our staff team just to experience life uh, as one of them. Now of course it's not life as one of them because uh, obviously you still have your phone and your car and whatever but just to try and get a little bit of of what life's like uh, for somebody to live on 10 pounds a week. Uh, well, we're just here to get our money uh, that we're actually going to live on for the week, so let's see what happens. Brilliant, come on, come me. Oh, see, thank you for the Red Cross. Have a seat. How can I help you? Well, I'm taking part in the Destitute Save Me programme. Right. And I was looking at a bit of help towards it. So, what sort of help are you looking for? Um, a food budget. Okay. Okay, so what we can do is we can offer £10, okay, that's what we give to people. Occasionally, if they've got children, we would give a bit more, but you mm -hmm. on your own? Yeah. Okay, so it'll be £10. I just need to get your name down, okay? Okay. This is a £10 voucher for Tesco. Okay. okay, do you know what that work? It's like, um, it's like a card. Okay. But, um, you can use different time. Okay, you don't yeah. have to get a Pokemon okay. Go. So, we we'll give you one voucher for one week. Okay, And perfect. see Thank you next you. Monday for another one. Okay, that's brilliant. Okay. Thank you very Bye. much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Just back out of Tesco's, this has felt really uncomfortable because I was filling the trolley up with soup and things that are going to last longer, very starchy, carbohydrate-y stuff. So, it wasn't a very, very good experience. Go on to, uh, to buy my food. Well, one pounds eighty later, and we have breakfast and dinner for three days. Uh, so that's bread, beans, skeddy hoops, and uh, savoury rice. Only problem being, I discovered after buying all this stuff that I don't actually own a tin opener. Uh, so this could be quite interesting. I could be very hungry by day three. Like this is so far removed from the world that I move in on a daily basis, and it kind of it, it, it kind of struck home because you know I have no idea what that must really be like, and uh, even you know I was setting up a blog to go alongside this, and I didn't even know how to spell asylum uh, until yesterday when I you know kind of spell checked it, and I was like, goodness, how far removed are you from re reality? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 potatoes. So that's nearly 2 potatoes per night. I actually need to go and do a rehearsal for the puppet show that we're doing as part uh, part of the refugee week that we're putting on a puppet show. And I'm actually really hungry and I don't think I could go and do the rehearsal without having food in me. And it's just making me really, really think that like how do these people who are living on ten pound a week actually do it? I didn't want to feel pity for these people because at the end of the day nobody wants anybody to feel sorry for them. Just really, really brought it home that how much we are spoiled within our lives and how much money and how much possibility that we actually really do have and that we actually can move forward with our lives if, if we want we put our minds to it, where these people can't, these people are stuck in limbo for God knows how many years, waiting to see are they going to go back, or are they going to be sent home, are they going to stay here, are they going to have a life. The thing I'm noticing most as this journey progresses is the fact that the less food you have, the less healthy food you have, the tireder you get, uh, my body at the moment is just exhausted, um, holding down a full-time job. Uh, as well as doing this, um, 
I'm finding it really a real struggle. Uh, I'm hoping that as the week goes on that things might improve, uh, but from what I can see, my body will only get tired. So, so far so good. Um, don't really know if I've lost any weight. Still have the, the belly going on, like, but... It's alcohol related. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully come Monday I'll have shed a few pounds as well and we'll have at least a thousand pound to donate. Brilliant. <laughs> well, you have on camera now. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so that's us. Destitute size me. Destitute size me. Destitute size me. Destitute size me.